Now, that's the icing on the cake when you get a thank you from Stephen Fry. Isn't it just? Isn't it? Um, our reporter, Greg McKenzie, is at Jamie School in Kingston-upon-Thames for us this morning. Um, back in the classroom then, how's it feel? I am indeed back in the classroom. It's been a few decades, I must admit. Now, of course, he's been called an inspiration by many. The Dr Jamie Frost, who teaches here, is actually a student here at Tiffin School some years ago. Now, it was eight years ago he set up a website, drfrostmaths.com. Now, during lockdown, it's had over uh, 100 million questions answered. So students uh, messaging and wanting help with their homework. And as of today, he's seeing about 1.3 million hits on the site. So let's meet the doctor himself, uh, Dr. Jamie Frost. Now, you must be uh, quite uh, honoured to be one of the 10 finalists for this $1 million prize, this teacher prize. I mean, it will be a life-changing amount of money for you, should you win. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled, delighted, and, and just glad to be uh, this far, really. And in terms of your website, I'm mean, hearing great things about it. It's a maths website. Tell us a bit about the site. So it's two things. It's firstly a set of teacher resources, um, but for students as well, where you can download slides and PowerPoints, and people found that particularly useful during the lockdown. But also it's a kind of online platform where people can log in, uh, teachers can set um, work for their students, and students get feedback on the questions they're answering, and students can independently practice as well. So it's kind of those two things combined together. And it's the right time in terms of students can access this 24 hours a day. Indeed, they, and in fact they do because people use it all over the world and with the different time zones you have uh, activity at 1am in the morning. Incredible. Right, let's bring in some students. We've got some students here all poised and ready to go. So we've got Louis, uh, Ty and also Yassine. So what's Mr Frost like, Dr Frost? What's he like as a teacher? Cover oh. your ears, Dr Frost. He's a great teacher. He's highly engaging and very beneficial by giving us a range of methods to answer all of our math questions. And what do you think he should do should he win the $1 million? What should he spend the money on? Uh, it would be great if he helped use the money to like build his brand to really make sure everyone can use it and really maximise its benefits. And what about yourself, Louis? What do you think he should spend the money on? Maybe work on his website or maybe something to do with the school. That would be nice. So you don't want him to buy you guys anything? Um, he could, but you never know. <laughs> and the site, what's great about the site? Do you use it yourselves then when you're at home? Yeah, we use it all the time, whether it's to revise for an upcoming test or to catch up on some homework or some work that we've done. And with all the slides and great resources, it's, it's great to just learn about uh, the math subjects and also to answer some questions in your own time if you're struggling in a subject. Wow, well, thank you very much. And, of course, these students are in their own social bubble here at Tiffin School in Kingston. Now, the virtual ceremony for the Teacher Award is due to take place on the 3rd of December, presented by Stephen Fry from the Natural History Museum. Back to you in the studio. Greg, thanks very much. Beautiful sunshine out there. What a lovely day you've got. Thanks very much, Greg. Oh, is that your... I have to draw attention to that stance. Is that your teacher? Is that your... Um, uh, uh, the head of the class about to teach a lesson stance? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's working. They're not paying any attention to him. I'll just point that out. Well, there you go. Greg, thank you very much. That was directed <laughs> at you, Charlie, for you to pay attention. What? Greg's stance. Oh, you think I you know, could adopt that? Yeah. Do you know someone who should adopt it? Because perhaps 